hope is such a horrible thing. It really is. You get dragged into belief, into hope, into everything for it to be completely pissed all over and destroyed. There goes our last hope. Well, I suppose we've got the very, very slimmest hope. And it's, it's quite fitting, to be honest, that we hand straight back the initiative to Manchester City. And now we have to rely on another team to do us a favour to crawl into the Champions League next season. We have to hope that Swansea can beat Manchester City and we beat Bournemouth and then we'll get Champions League. But realistically... It isn't going to happen. We've blown an opportunity. West Ham are by no means an easy team to play. But you have to look at what their threats are. And everyone knows bre their bread and butter is crossing, is free kicks, is corners, it's set plays. They are good in the air. We're 2-1 up. And what do we do? We can see two goals from set pieces. It's unacceptable. This is... It's primary school stuff, man. You should know that. And it's the biggest game of our season. I've said that so many times this season, but the games get progressively bigger towards the end. But it is. Literally, if we win this, chances are, well, most likely we'll get in Champions League because no disrespect to Bournemouth, but they're a team that aren't fighting for anything at the minute. They're happy with PL survival. It's it's an easier game that we then we could have been affronted, but it doesn't matter anymore because we've lost. And yeah, it's West Ham's last game, so you know, congrats to them. They played brilliantly, but it it's just irritating. It really is. The team underperformed, and before the game, yeah, the West Ham fans, some of them, obviously not all, a very small minority, d um, threw bottles at the uh, the Man United team coach. But then you look at a video of the players, and I wouldn't mind if it was a nothing game that they're. they're they're basically taking the piss, rolling around in the fucking bus. And you're thinking, would you see players like Cantona, like Yap Stam, like Rio Ferdinand, Roy Keane? Would you see any of these players doing that before a key game in the season? Fuck no. You would see them getting riled up, getting fired up, making sure the players are focused on the game. Not fucking rolling around, taking fucking videos for Snapchat and all this shit. Fuck off, man. What is the mentality at our club? It's ridiculous. Ugh. Well, for once, I suppose it wasn't boring. We lost 3 2. Marcel, I'm so happy he played today and he made a real difference for us, but it, it just was not good enough. But it, it shows how our over reliance, as usual, on Anthony Marcel, David De Gea, Chris Smalling, you know, the big players that have performed for us this season. And uh, Marcel scored two brilliant goals, but it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough because we couldn't defend set pieces against West Ham, who have one of the tallest um, fucking teams in the league, one of the most deadly at set pieces, yet for some reason that went amiss. And you can say Fellaini got banned, so maybe that's a problem because Fellaini probably this is a game where you want Fellaini to play. Uh, Schneidlin and Herrera played, neither did anything this game, and uh, I'm disappointed. They haven't played in a while, so I'll give them a little bit of slack, but we've been calling them, uh, we've been asking for them to play for so long, and they were just pathetic today, particularly Schneidlin. I mean, as I say, they haven't played in a while, so maybe it wasn't the best idea playing them in the biggest game that we've had in a long time, but, you know, I'm not going to blame Lou Van Hal for selecting them, because I've been calling for it for so long but it's just irritating and it, it's 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 just the way the season's gonna end isn't it it's gonna end in disappointment unless of course we lift the FA Cup that'll be a, a fitting end but please just bring Mourinho in next year and uh, hopefully we can see some players come in Bayern Munich signed Ronaldo Sanchez and there's conflicting reports some saying that um, he chose Bayern Munich which he probably did to be fair I mean why wouldn't you they're Bayern Munich they've won trophies like every year for the last God knows how many years, and then we haven't won much for two, three years. But um, And there's others saying that we just didn't want him. Now, we scouted him for 25 consecutive games, so <sighs> make of it what you will, but hopefully we can get someone else in. But enough of transfers, that's for another video. This game, we've lost it. Fucking typical. And now we have to rely on Swansea City to beat Manchester City to have any hope. Well, to get in the Champions League. It's last day next week, so <sighs> Let's see what happens.